This is episode 27 of the Just Ask Joey podcast. And she was like, who? And he was like, ah. And we was like, what? And she was like, who? And he was like, ah. And we was like, what? Just Ask Joey. Hello, and welcome to Just Ask Joey. I'm your host, Joey. This is the only place on the internet where a former idiot answers your questions to help you either avoid idiocy or get over your idiocy. And I also answer questions about, like today, politics. Again, it's a big season, big topic. People are talking about this stuff all the time. So today, just to get right into it, today's topic, or today's question is, is Hillary right or is Hillary wrong. I think Hillary is 100% right. And I also think she is 100% wrong. What I mean by that, everything she brings up is, I think, valid. I'll take two topics. I'll take the the the, the disparity of wealth in the country, the, the one percenters, however, whatever you want to call that, the disparity of wealth and the uh, the price of college and how college is like pricing people out. I think, I don't even know how you could disagree with the fact that college is too expensive. And I also don't know how you can disagree with the fact that there is a huge disparity of wealth between the top and the bottom, the top 1%, the top 2%, the top 5% and the bottom. There's a huge disparity of wealth. She's 100% right about that. Um, how she is 100% wrong is I really don't think it's the government's job to make things easier for you. I think. Is that what I mean? I think the government's job is to keep things on like a level playing field to a certain extent. Like, for example, minimum wage. So ho- housing prices in the Bay Area are insane. Like rental prices are insane. Housing prices are insane. It's it's pretty much all over. It's crazy. So people that work in jobs that get paid minimum wage um, have a really hard time surviving. And I don't have a problem with that because you can always move and i think like the reason any of us or any of our families are anywhere is because things could have been better someplace else and we moved right i mean realistically people haven't been in california for more than a couple hundred years all right i take that back europeans haven't been in the bay area for more than a couple hundred years why did they come here? Why were people why did people come to California? Because it was better than wherever the hell else they were. And they couldn't do it. They couldn't they couldn't manage to live they wanted where they want the way they wanted to live someplace else. The reason my ancestors came over from Italy 100 100 years ago, whatever, 120 years ago is because things were not going great in Italy. It was hard to make a living in Italy. So they couldn't make it there. So instead of saying, hey, man, it's so hard. When they were saying this in Italian, but this is, if I were going to translate it, this is what it would sound like. Hey, man, it's so hard here. We can't, we can't do it. It's not fair. You should give me stuff to make it easier. Like, like, listen to how freaking crazy that sounds. So instead of that, what they do, they hopped on a boat, headed out to New York, went from New York, did the train thing across the United States, ended up in, ended up in Stockton, California bought a farm and the, the the trajectory of the family has gone up ever since then what if they never moved what if they had begged the government to make it easier for them to live so they could stay there where, where would where would my family be you know you have because of their generation because of their move people hard working you know hard very hard working immigrants bought a farm because of the farm you know they were they were more stable go to school you know my dad was the first person in uh in his line to go to college and graduate and then 
because of my dad's higher education, you know, my mom's family who were doing the same thing from Ireland, their education allowed, you know, the next generation, my brother, my sister and I, we all went to college. My brother's a doctor. I have my master's. My sister, I know, will eventually go back and get her master's and stuff too. This whole upward trajectory never would have happened if they didn't move. So when you're sitting in the Bay Area and you're like, wah, I can't work here. It's too expensive. Move someplace cheaper. Like you, like you know you work at a job that doesn't make much money. So why would you live in the most expensive place in the United States right now? It doesn't make sense. And, and not only does it not make sense, like and don't get me wrong. I know you guys work hard. I, 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 under, I totally understand that. But what are you not allowing? What are you leaving on the table? What are you not allowing your family by staying in a place that makes you have to struggle? What's wrong with, I don't know, moving to Oregon? What's wrong with moving to Nevada? What's wrong with moving to Arizona? What's wrong with moving to Kentucky or freaking Nebraska or wherever? Like, nobody owes you anything. So for, for, for Hillary and Bernie to talk about like, oh, we have to raise the minimum wage so people can survive and stuff, it's like, yeah, okay. Maybe people should just strive for a better job. Maybe people should push themselves to do a better job. Maybe people should stop living in expensive ass Bay Area and move someplace else. You're not going to work at McDonald's and go, "Oh, I need to I need a place in Manhattan." Like get your head out your butt. Recognize that you 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 have put yourself in a tough position to live financially and you can get yourself out of the tough position. That's the minimum wage. And that's part of the the, the disparity of wealth and stuff is instead of saying, "Hey, you guys with lots of money, give us money. It should be, hey, you guys with not very much money, let's try to figure out a way to get you more money. Let's Maybe let's change um, some like adult education stuff to help you guys monetize some stuff that you guys are doing or doing well. And and keep in mind, there's always people that they're, they're self-defeatist. There's people that are, that will not, you know, push themselves to, to, you know, achieve different higher goals and everything. There's, there's, there's that factor too. People, boo, oh, boo, I don't have enough money. But what did you do to try to get more money? Right. So maybe you don't work that job that only pays eleven dollars an hour when you could try to get a job that pays you twenty dollars an hour. You know, maybe like there's, there's, there's just things that people have so much more power than they're willing to admit. Or they maybe they don't even know they have it. There was there was the other crazy thing. Like so that leads us into into the whole college thing. College is expensive as crap. Holy crap, college is expensive. And the the more and more expensive it is, the less and less uh, beneficial it is to be viewed as like an investment. Like if you get out of school, like you go to graduate school, maybe you're a doctor, you get out of school with like three hundred thousand dollars in debt. You get out of school, you're twenty. Let's say you're like twenty six. You end your residency, 25, 26, 27, end your residency, and you are you have a house payment. You don't have a house, but you have a house payment. I think what people need to do is realize that if you don't, if you figure out an alternative route to it that can get you just as well educated and prove your education, you can kind of bypass those systems. You can, you don't need college, there's a certain degree, I take that back. If you're going to do certain things, you need a diploma because you're not going to nobody's going to let you do surgery on them if you don't have a if you're not a doctor. So, but do you have to go to an expensive school in the United States? Why not go to a school in Argentina? Why not go to a school in Brazil? Why not go to a school in, in someplace else, like another different part of the country, and keep your costs low, but you still get the degree? And then you build up because nobody cares where you went to school. It sounds fantastic to go to NYU. It sounds amazing to go to Stanford. It sounds amazing to go to USC. But if you suck at your job, it doesn't matter where you went to school. It doesn't. So take the power, put the power back in yourself. Don't give the power to the colleges. Don't give the power to the jobs. Don't give the power to the whatever schooling and stuff. Take the power back for yourself realize that you have a lot in you that you are probably if you're complaining about it that means you're probably not utilizing it and take control of what you can control 
there's certain things you can control in your life and there's certain things that you can't. So if you can control, hey, I don't have to live in San Francisco. I love it here, but it's expensive as crap. You can control that. The, the people that are in their little dumpy apartments in San Francisco dropping 2500 bucks a month or three grand a month, that's a house payment. That's more than a house payment if you would move to Modesto, move to Fresno, move to Bakersfield, move to a different state. And give yourself the opportunity to enjoy life. It's like putting handcuffs on yourself and going swimming. It's like, why are you doing that when you could just uh, not go swimming with the handcuffs on or pick a different sport? It's the same thing with where you where you live, where you work. If everybody in McDonald's quit and went and moved someplace else, that's going to hurt McDonald's and they're going to have to readjust kind of what they do. But people go, oh, well, I'm going to work here. It sucks. I don't make enough money, but they, I deserve to get paid more. It's like really most, 99% of your job is like is automated. You chose to work in a place that pays minimum wage. So they don't want to pay you at all. They're just paying you what they have to pay you. Find a different job. Go to a different city. Go to a different state. There's just, you have so much power and you just hand it, you just give it to people. And I think that's that's where Hillary and Bernie are totally wrong is it's not about what people do because the market will dictate what happens. If you if if something is bad enough, you stop paying for it. You stop working there and it goes away. You don't need a government regulation. You need people to go, "Oh, this sucks. We're not going to do this anymore." Like you take a company like any company. Crap, if people stop going to McDonald's, they're not going to be McDonald's anymore. If people didn't like the stories about like the Nike wear sweatshops and the, like the, the Apple sweatshops or whatever, sweatshops, not sweatshops, whatever you want to call it. If you have a problem with that, stop buying it and then it goes away. But there's so much more power in you than going, oh, somebody should do something about that. You should do something about that. You don't like how much you're getting paid at your job, you find a new job. You ask for a raise or you bust your ass and get a raise. You move cities, you change houses, you put you get you set up a better life for for your family. This whole country was built on immigration. Immigration is moving from a crappy situation to a better situation. Why do would we stop now? If you're in a bad situation, and this is just a kind of across the board, like just life. Here's like a life lesson. If you're in a crappy situation, get off your ass and freaking move. If you're in a bad relationship, get off your ass and move. If you're in a bad job, get off your ass and move. Whatever it is that you're facing that you don't like, that you're complaining about, take the energy that you're com- of complaining about it and put it into moving. Get into action and get your ass out of that situation. It's the same thing with college. It's the same thing with with just money in general. It's the same thing with work. It's overpriced, underpriced, overpaid, underpaid, underemployed, blah, 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 whatever. Get off your ass and move. You don't deserve anything. That doesn't take away from the fact that Hillary and Bernie are right about all the issues that are facing the United States. They're 100% right. But it's up to you to make a difference. Stop waiting for Washington to change it for you. You have so much power in your mind, in your thoughts, in your hands, in your body. Use it, please. Hillary's right and Hillary's wrong. Get off your ass and get moving. Find a better spot for you in your life. Find a better place to live. Find a better job. Find a better education and get there. There's nothing holding you back from getting whatever you want except for you. Remember that. I'll see you later. And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? Go ahead, go. Just ask Joe.